Are you dumb? And I'll say it with my chest. Like so what did that cause him to do? Run up at me with my money. When? When? Where's the video? Where's the proof? Let me know. All right. <sighs> Hey guys, what is poppin' Nova Nation? I'm so excited. I don't know who else is excited but me. Me? I'm fucking excited. My birthday was on the 18th of July. I turned 23, if you guys didn't know. Now you know. But it's not that big of a deal. I didn't really do much. I just went to dinner with some of my friends. Like a little group of my friends, not everybody. Why is he talking now? Cause he saw me? Okay. So, I, so I've been so excited to do this story time. The guy that is involved with the story time gave me the go. What did I say that I was gonna call this? I said I was gonna call this like, the time I got robbed by a boy? No. You're a victim. But this is the time I got played. This is my last time I spoke to an athlete. This is the last time that completely like, I was like, you know what? I'm done. Mind you, this was the first Toronto man that I ever decided to talk to. Yo, bring me a shot. Bring me a shot. I was so upset. Oh my God, you guys don't even know about like Toronto and Mississauga and the GTA and like the surrounding cities and everything. So whatever. I I'm going to be doing my makeup because for some reason you guys love when I do my makeup and I tell story time. So that's what we're going to do. The products, I'm not going to tell you guys any products today. I'm just going to tell my story so I can focus on the story. And um, tell me if you wanted to do an in-depth in -depth tutorial on everything. Like, I'll actually do it. I promise. Boom. How, where do I even begin? Obviously, you guys can see the title of the story time. That's why you're here. Basically, I don't know if you guys know, but here's my little... I'm going to give you guys a background of how this even came about. This is why you should never, never talk to your friend's friends. Like, ever in your life. Don't do it. Emotional damage! Anybody doesn't know me, I used to live in LA. I lived in LA for like three months, four months. And that was when I was... I think I was 19. So this happened when I was 19 years old. Thank God. I am now 23. Do you see how long of a time I wait for my story times? Like, <laughs> yeah. And I actually talked to the guy about it, so I kind of feel way better. They took all my money. All of it. I basically remember having this best friend, this guy best friend. I messaged him and I was like, you know what? Do you have any guys? <laughs> like, any friends? Like, send me your friends. This is so bad. Like, now that... I'm here and I'm actually like taking in the things that I was saying and the things that I was asking my friends like he should have pinned it in the mud he should have been like you know what Kira no but whatever he didn't he was just like here you go and he sent me a list of guys because I literally said to him you know what I think I'm ready to like talk to somebody or you know somebody I want to that's what I was telling him and so he was like alright here's a list of guys and I basically said like I'm not I don't want a relationship with anyone I just want to explore because the relationship that I was in with the guy that was my second body so I'm like I'm about to be 20 like I'm about to be 20 what the hell like I need to experience life wrong but whatever it is what it is so he sent me a list of guys okay boom and he sent me this cute ass boy the boy was so cute if like, he was a football player what are we gonna call him? Finesse. Okay, so we're gonna call him Finesse. So Finesse the football player, because you are actually a finesser. He's a finesser, certified finesser. Okay. I don't know where I was in my story time, but guys, back to what I was talking about. So this is the time that I got robbed by a Toronto man. Honestly, if you guys know what a boops is, I feel like he boops me. He's trying to tell me I didn't boops you, like I actually liked you, I was trying to wife you, but you know, the, it just, the story just goes, it just gets deep, okay? It goes deep, I don't know why I even tolerated such foolery, but whatever. Because he finessed the out of me, like, and to this day, he'll even be like, I never finessed you, I didn't finesse you, yes the fuck you did. But it is what it is. I'm charging it to the motherfucking game. Like, I don't know if you guys knew me back in like 2019, but I was like abstinent. 
I didn't want to have sex with anybody. I was like, you know, I don't want to experience this. I won't lie, the internet actually bullied me into into making this decision of not being abstinent anymore. Like everybody was telling me like, there's no reason for you to be abstinent. Why are you abstinent? You're this age and all this stuff, like, you know? And I was just like, you know what? Maybe, maybe they're right. Like maybe this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. Biggest fucking mistake. That was like my biggest mistake of life. If you feel like I don't feel comfortable of having and this is not something that's on my mind, absolutely, positively do not. Do not. Don't let society bully you into thinking that you have to have because you absolutely positively do not. That's like my biggest thing that I want to let you guys know. So I don't know if you guys even know. Anyways, I did a, a video, a smasher pass video when I was like a kid. I was so young. I was literally 18 years old and I did this video. Basically, I was abstinent and the way that I looked at so different than everybody and then my age and older than me okay I looked at it as something super serious and whatever so when I did this smash and pass I passed every single youtuber like ever and a lot of people got really offended that I did that but to be really honest nobody really took in like I'm, I'm a kid I'm young I'm not experienced whatever but it is what it is I stayed absent for like three years and I realized you know what maybe I shouldn't be and I should enjoy myself so I asked my guy friend I was like you know I think I'm ready to to sleep with people and like you know try to I, I want to be out outside like I want to talk to a guy like again he sent me a list of five guys and I was like all right bet and I got to pick who I wanted to talk to so basically I picked this guy he's a football player why would I do that to myself tell him to bring me my money yeah! but whatever. I picked the football player and I was like yeah I want him and I basically he gave me his Instagram and I DM'd him and I think I was still in LA when I started FaceTiming this boy. I moved back December like 27th, okay? 27th or 28th. And then I was like FaceTiming this boy or whatever. And he was in the States. So he was from the city, but he was on a football scholarship in the States. So I was like, all right, bet. So I actually started to like him. It wasn't even one of those where I'm like, oh, I just want a sneaky link. Like I actually started to like him and he didn't even know that I was only talking to him for a sneaky link. He knew that well, I'm abstinent and whatever. He didn't believe me. He was like, you're not abstinent at all. Like, whatever. But I was like, I, I am. So he came back to the city. I think he came back to the city for something in like April. Yeah, in April. I don't know why he came back, but he came back. He tells me where he was. He ended up getting an Airbnb in my city. I don't know if that was on purpose or what. It, was, it ended up being like five minutes from my house. He went back to school and that's when everything fucked up. And he started to say like, yeah, I like you. Like I fuck with you, da 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 da. He goes back to school now and then he asked me for a favor. He asked me for a favor. And I'm like, all right, what's the favor? Like, what What do you need? And he asked me for like two bills. It was like $200. And I, he was like, I'll give it back to you, whatever, boom. I'm like, all right, but I sent it to him because it was 200 fucking blood clot dollars. And then he sent it back to me the next day. Literally the next fucking day. So I was just like, all right. So I'm thinking like, all right, he's a man of his word. Great, you're a man of your word. So now we're talking, I guess, whatever. He comes back to the city now. He's done school. I start like seeing him on the regular, okay? I start going to his house. And mind you, I don't like to go to anybody's house. I don't like going to people's houses. Like, I don't like it at all. Like, if you're, if I never met your mom or whatever, like, I don't want to be in your house. I don't, I'm too old for this. I absolutely positively don't want to be there, no. But he just, you know, would be like, yeah, it's fine. Like, just come or whatever, so I would go. I started feeling like okay you're not my sneaky link anymore like I like you I like you so we started going outside we started like going out to dinner mind you I would pay for the dinner okay so we ended up he ended up telling me that we have a mutual friend like he knows a girl I know a girl like the same girl and he knows but he never told me like the basis of their friendship so imagine I'm asking I'm asking this girl about her sneaky link like you know what i mean like i was like oh hey like do you know anything about this guy like i've been talking to him 
It was actually the craziest thing. He asked me, he was like, hey, like, can I get an Airbnb through your PayPal? And I'm gonna send you the money through your PayPal, whatever. He sent me the money, but I had to give him my PayPal login. Instantly, I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> Fucking dumb bitch. I had to give him my PayPal login. What do you mean by that? I gave it to him. What? He did it. He sent me the money for the Airbnb. But little did I know that Mr. Mr. hooked my PayPal to his Uber. Damn! He hooked my PayPal to his Uber. And he was going on the craziest of craziest of craziest rides. Like $70 Uber. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't pin it on him. Like, I couldn't say this is you. Because even when I brought it to him, I'm like, brother, what is this? And he would be like, it's not me, it's not me, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it was like so, it was just so crazy. It was just so crazy, okay? I was so nice. I was so fucking nice. I was so nice. <laughs> So anyway, so then I was like, okay, whatever. So boom, I would Uber to this guy's house and I would sleep over at his house and then whatever. I even went to breakfast with his family before. It was like a crazy, I didn't, I didn't know what was going on. I'm thinking like, we're in, uh, like we're talking, like I don't know what it is, but mm, okay. <laughs> he never made my pockets hurt, but see, I feel like that's why that's why he didn't feel a type of way. This girl is not crying over this type shit. But that's still not right. That's still not right. And the man always paid me back. So that's why I didn't understand, like, why whatever was going on was going on. So so anyway, so boom, we had mutual friends now. And he was he was leaving, okay? So he was leaving. And he asked me to send him 250 for his, his passport, and he was gonna send it back to me. I was like, all right, no problem, because he's like, I'm going to the passport office right now, so I e-transferred it to him, no problem, boom. E-transferred it to you. Then, I think I was sleeping over that night, so then he ended up missing the passport office. So the morning that we woke up, we ended up going to the passport office together. We got to the passport office, and we got in the line and whatever, we got seen. Now it's coming down to paying for the passport. He left his wallet at home. <laughs> So what am I gonna do? Like, I'm, I came with you. What am I gonna do? And if anybody knows the password office, you know how long that line is. So I paid for it. Oh! The other 250. I paid for it. I was like, okay, whatever. What do you mean, breathe, breathe? Don't tell me to breathe. I basically Ubered home. I got food. We. I Ubered home. He Ubered home. And then that was the last time I ever saw this nigga. And I'll tell you why. All of a sudden, he stopped answering his phone. All of a sudden, he he just went ghost on me, like ghost on me. Literally went ghost on me. I was like, bro, what the fuck? And then next thing you know, I'm messaging him. I'm like, yo, what's going on? Like, are you okay? Like, you're moving weird. Like, are you weird? And the man's moving like he's cheese, he's pissed. I'm like, what's going on? What's actually going on, okay? What is happening? And why did I find out? So now, I, now three years fucking later, I find out that this guy, so the mutual friends that we had, so you know how I had a best friend. And the guy was basically sitting down telling them how he likes me. And basically they told him that I sucked my best friend's Oh! Why would you do that? And I never sucked the man's I could promise you guys I never sucked the man's dick. I could put it on my uncle that I never sucked the man's dick. I could put it on everything that I love I never sucked the man's dick. So why would you guys do that? I'm confused. And you know what's so crazy? Is that I used to cry to this best friend about how much I like this guy. You're a victim. I used to cry to him on the phone and be like, I like him so much. Oh my God, like, I don't know what to do. And he would be like, Kira, you like him? Like, why do you like him? Da, 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 da. and he's a player and he does this and da, 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 da. like cry on the phone with the nigga and my best friend told this nigga I sucked his dick are you dumb so what did that cause him to do run up on me with my money with my money oh. okay 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 that's what you guys did to me oh, okay <laughs> Because you wanted to go
go tell lies on my mouth and my pum pum because you want to tell lies on my mouth and my pussy. Are you crazy? Right? You ran off with my money. Okay, and the man's like, I really liked you and I thought you lied to me. Imagine a group of niggas telling me that. Da -da 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 -da. Are you dumb? A group of niggas lying on my pussy? I never. When did I suck his dick? When? When? Where's the video? Where's the proof? Let me know. If, and I'll say it with my chest. You guys know me. Wouldn't I say it with my chest? If I did that, I did that. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? They ran off with my money. Because, what the hell? So anyway, so now, now, fast forwarding years later, now that Matt's coming to tell me, like, you know, I really did like you and all this stuff. Like, no, you didn't. I never got caught up because I never sucked the man's dick. Okay. Are you are you guys forgetting the beginning of the story? Kira, replay the beginning of the story. I basically remember having this best friend, this guy best friend. I messaged him and I was like, you know what? Do you have any guys? <laughs> like any friends? Like send me your friends. This are you dumb? So you sent me the guy for what? Like you sent me him for what? Okay? You sent me him for what? For what? If you were gonna do that. If you were gonna tell him that I sucked your cocky and I never sucked your cocky, why'd you do that? So guys, I'm so sorry my my camera died. Okay. <laughs> Clearly it didn't. My camera didn't die. I got distracted from another story, and I had to fucking finish the story on TikTok. What do I do for a living? This, this is my living. This is literally what I fucking do. All day, every butt clock day, if I feel like it. I should do it every day, to be honest. I should be an everyday YouTuber, but I don't think y'all are ready for that yet. I actually don't think you guys are ready for me to be an everyday YouTuber. If I'm being completely honest. Oh yeah, and he never gave me my money back, and so I agreed with him. His friend ended up giving me his money back. Like, his friend was just like, you know what? How did his friend even know you from social media? So now... I gave him the passport, he got the passport and everything, he ended up ghosting me. Um, I reached out to him, I was texting him bare paragraphs, letting him like, hey, can we communicate, what happened, like, did something go wrong, like, you know, like a bunch of shit. He did, he aired me, literally aired me, and he left the country. How did you leave the country with the passport I got for you, and you're not responding to me, you fucking weirdo? That really made me in my feelings. I was really sad about that. Yeah, he aired me, completely aired me. So boom, a week went by. A week went by. What happened? I met the I met my ex that went to jail. If you guys want that story time, oh my god. That that's a story time. That's a story time I haven't told on YouTube yet. But yeah, anyways guys, if you guys did enjoy the story time, please let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if I I'm not a story timer anymore. Let me know if that was a horrible way to tell the story. Let me know your thoughts and everything if you guys want more story time get ready with me let me know in the comments down below and yeah yeah if you didn't like this video go suck your bumble cloud don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next ciao